Our third inductee is Jessica Bensley. Jessica was one of the early standouts for the women's volleyball program, totaling 991 kills, 803 digs, and 209 service aces from 2002 to 2005. She also played basketball and softball for the Mustangs. When I think of Jessica Bensley, um, she is just awesome and fun. She is literally down for anything. She, it's funny because her, her life actually kind of reflects the way that I remember how she played volleyball. She is always 100% um, ready to go, uh, regardless of what it is. Um, it could be something simple as, you know, let's make dinner or, and she's like, all right, let's get a plan and let's go. <laughs> That's kind of how she's always been. When she was uh, the team captain, uh, she she made it a point to just have everyone um, come, be, become a family. You know, like she she had that infectious you know personality that because she was always smiling and you know ready for fun and um, that that kind of spread on into her play as well. Her skills came natural to her, um, but it's someone that has the personality. Um, that shines through, um, not you know, off the court as well as on the court. Um, that's why you recognize those kind of people. Anybody can come to practice, put the time in, and you know, come to games and have amazing stats. But it's the people that actually show up and spend the extra time and you know, want to get to know their players and who they play with, and not just play with them. You know, like it's making those friendships off the court and her personality um, with being so outgoing as she was. I, she literally was friends with everybody. I mean, and not just volleyball. I mean, you name the sport, she was probably friends with the majority of everyone on every team. You know, there's just, there's something about her approach and she's easygoing, but you also know that she means business. Um, that um, she's just, she's easy to, to be taught by, you know, I mean, even um, when we were juniors and seniors on the team, um, you know, we had freshmen that, that would come in, um, she would, if somebody would make a mistake, she would just pull them to the side and say, you know, all you have to do is change, change your approach or, you know, angle your hand differently. And like, she didn't make it a big deal, you know, she would just pull them over to the side and then she'd be like, all right, let's try again, you know, like, it was just easy. From the class of 2006, it is my honor to welcome Jessica Bensley into the Dick Watts Athletics Hall of Fame. All right, hi everybody. Um, that was awesome. Amy, you did a terrific job, so thank you so much. I'm gonna step back from the microphone because I'm known for like talking really loudly, so um, don't mind me shouting at you, it's just kind of what I do. Uh, so first of all, thank you so much. I'm so excited and honored to be here. It's amazing to see how the athletic department has grown, how the university has grown. Sadly, I've been moving all around the country and haven't stepped foot in campus in 10 years. And boy, I was in for a shock today. So show up, see the tailgate happening. I'm like, holy cow, this looks like fun. <laughs> and then walk on this beautiful little stroll through the woods. And then I'm at this, first off, the four most beautiful beach volleyball courts you ever did see. <laughs> and man, was I jealous. Um, and then to the football game, I was like, this is so much fun. I mean, we found our own ways to have fun. But it just looks like the school has grown and it's amazing what you guys have done. Um, also, even though I was jealous, I can't tell you how proud I was that my school, my alma mater, was the first to add NCAA Beach Volleyball. Like, that has been my love and my passion and everything that I've done since I left. So to see that pop up on my newsfeed one morning when I'm checking Facebook, I was like, holy cow, like, that's really amazing. Um, also, I can't thank enough my parents and my family for being here. 
and your endless support and coming to my games and even teaching me to play. Me and my dad used to go down to our neighborhood beach and play beach doubles back in the day um, before I even played on a sports team. Uh, me and my mom would have a softball catch in the yard. Um, so definitely thanks to my family. Um, and also my teammates. I've made two of the best friends of my life here playing volleyball at Villa Julie. So Shayna Dixon, who's here, we met freshman year. We played on the team together. She went on to Towson, but I wasn't letting her go. So we stayed roommates uh, all through college and are still best friends to this day. And then Amy, who did an amazing job in the video, again, still best friends to this day, and was such a fun co-captain for the team, and we had so many great memories together. Um, so thank you, Amy. And then thank you, Stevenson Athletics, for putting this all together. The videos, the banquet, the game today, everything has been a class act and so amazing. And also, congrats to my fellow inductees. It's amazing to be inducted with Alicia, who was my roommate in college, so uh, <laughs> pretty awesome. When I saw her name show up, I was like, oh my gosh, that's amazing. So we get to do this together. And they say I played uh, basketball and softball. She played them much better than me. And thank God for volleyball, or I would not be standing up here today. <laughs> Um, so I'm just going to take you through like a really quick version of my story and what I've been doing since I left and how Villa Julie, now Stevenson, uh, the business communications program, um, which up there in the back, um, and athletics and volleyball have gotten me to where I am today. Um, so basically, I left college. I knew that volleyball was my passion and what I wanted to do, so I decided to go after any coaching job I could, um, and I landed D1 assistant at Loyola College. So I thought that was my dream. I was like, sweet, but I kind of wanted a backup plan too. So I went and got my master's at University of Baltimore in design. And thanks to a great foundation in business communications, I got to bypass all of my design courses and my writing courses and dive right into the heart of it. So that was super awesome. Um, so quickly I discovered that coaching wasn't really for me. Like I loved it and I love teaching people stuff. What I didn't love is waking up for 6 a.m. Uh, weight training, then going to 12 to 3 team practice, then going to 6 to 8 individuals at night, and going to school full time, um, and having to bartend on the side because they thought 21 grand a year was a really good salary. <laughs> so I did that for two years, somehow managed to graduate at the same time, and bartend, and I don't really remember those two years of my life. It was like a lot of sleeping in parking lots and trying not to be late to things. Um, but after all of that, I got out of school, I had done some design work, and I was like, well, what should I do? I went and sold insurance. So <laughs> I'm doing that for nine months, I'm making good money, um, but I'm not really like enjoying life. So, funny thing is, when I was here at Villa Julie, I got an awesome internship at Inside Lacrosse Magazine. And while I had that internship, uh, we spent our Saturdays in the office writing college game day write-ups. Um, I didn't really know that much about lacrosse. Sorry, Paul. But I like faked it till I made it and wrote some good articles thanks to being a part um, of the newspaper here at school. Um, but the great part about it is I made a, amazing contacts. So Warrior and Brian were two of the main sponsors um, at Inside Lacrosse Magazine. I became friends with a lot of the guys just through hanging out at the office. We'd all go out for drinks and stuff afterwards. So I'm selling insurance for nine months and my phone rings. It's the marketing manager for Warrior and he's like, hey, what are you up to? I haven't talked to the guy in like two years. I was like, uh, I graduated grad school, but I'm selling insurance. And he's like, oh, well, Brian's starting volleyball. And I was like the only volleyball player they knew because they all played lacrosse. <laughs> so he immediately thought of me and um, called me and was like, you should go for this job. We're looking for some, like a go-getter that's entry level because um, we don't have like a huge budget for it, but I think he'd be great. I was like, okay, so what does like a product person do? And he's like, well, you get to divine, um, you get to make your own line of volleyball equipment. And I was like, well, that sounds cool. Uh, so next thing I know, I'm getting flown up to Boston and 
Um, I interview for this job, they move me up there, and I start and get to develop my online volleyball equipment. So I was like, well, that was pretty cool. So they're owned by New Balance. I weaseled my way into New Balance. I worked at Team Sports there um, for a long time, like five years. Then I kind of loved footwear, and I was doing apparel. So I went down to the Muck Boot Company, landed a job at Keen, moved to Portland, Oregon, and now I just got a job at Teva, which most of you might say Teva, um, but it's in uh, Santa Barbara, California, and just moved there three weeks ago. So that was a long convoluted way, and how I bring it back to Villa Julie is I can't tell you how good of a foundation the business communications program specifically gave me. And I can't tell you how much easier life has been having the foundation of being a volleyball player. I moved to Boston, I didn't know a soul. I've made some of the best friends of my life just because I showed up to the court to play. I did the same thing in Portland, again, didn't know a soul, just started playing volleyball and have met amazing people. And now I'm in Santa Barbara and I have no friends and I've showed up to the courts twice and people are super nice so I'm really hoping like that works out for me too. <laughs> um, but anyway, we'll see. Um, but it's just amazing to be here. Thank you guys for choosing me. Um, thank you everyone for your support, especially my family that came here today. Um, congrats other inductees and go Mustangs.